The story is one of a number of leaked documents that have been kept secret for, I guess, 11, 12, 13, 14 years, something like that. And they are all out now, and there are winners and there are losers. But mostly there seem to be losers on the Palestinian side. There has been tremendous reaction to the leaked documents on the part of so-called Palestinian leaders who have been exposed, if these documents are legitimate, as being less than dedicated fighters for their people in terms of hard negotiations with their Israeli counterparts. Let me just read the first paragraph from one of the stories here. As Palestinian negotiators named in the secret accounts of negotiations with Israel angrily dismissed them as lies, fabrications, and half-truths, there was an equally hostile backlash over their offer to let the Jewish state keep its settlements in occupied East Jerusalem and other concessions as well. Now, let's keep in mind that the whole of Jerusalem is occupied by Israel, so the Palestinians don't have anything to give to anyone. Everybody wants to concessionalize that the Palestinians are traitors. These, these leaders of the right, Palestinians right. are still in the country. Well, that's Tell a big message, of course. Do you remember the, the yeah. Goldstone Report? Sure. You remember when, you know, the, so the Palestinians supposedly they wanted to stop the report and Mahmoud Abbas wanted to stop the report? Do you know what happened about the Goldstone Report? Nothing is collecting that. But we wanted to slaughter those Palestinian leaders for saying, let's postpone this, not in this meeting, maybe in the next meeting. I'm beginning to smell a rat here, my friend. Well, l l let me tell you what the rat is, and it's a big rat. Israel is in a predicament right now because the world is recognizing the Palestinian state. The peace process was dead from day one. Yes, the Palestinian negotiators are weak. Okay, you replace the negotiating team and you get another team. You know, you're only as good a negotiator as the guy behind you with a gun. That's right. And if the guy <laughs> behind Netanyahu is the stealth fighters and nuclear bomb, uh -huh. and the guy behind the Palestinian negotiators is the little boy with a rock, well, guess how much negotiating you are going to be able mm -hmm. to accomplish. Especially after much. you've lost 95% of your territory and been exactly. consigned to open-air prisons by your captors. I mean, what the exactly. hell do you have to put on the table by way of strength? I agree. Uh, what's his name? Medvedev, the, uh, the Russian president. Yep. Last week, he was in Ramallah meeting, uh, actually he was in the Palestinian territories, I think in Jericho, right. uh, uh, meeting with the Palestinians, and he talked about if it is time for a Palestinian state. So Israel feels that, you know what, this Palestinian state is going to come, and everybody's talking about the 1967 borders, uh -huh. which, by the way, a lot of these areas that they're talking about, it's within those borders. So it, you know, it seems like unusual for these things to come out right now uh, and to destroy the credibility of the Palestinian leadership uh -huh. because this is the only way it's going to happen. Now this is going to even make the Palestinians pull back even further mm -hmm. from any peace negotiating with Israel, which will give Israel exactly the time frame that it needs because they're going to say, we don't have Palestinians to negotiate with. They're going to take another five or six years of, of this. Nothing is happening because the Palestinians, after these papers, they will not even dare to go into any negotiating sitting with the Israelis. And that's what Israel exactly wants. Mm -hmm. It wants this position from the Palestinians. So it can say, we do not have a peace partner. And therefore, they will continue building these settlements. Until five years from now, you're not going to have any piece of land to even talk about. That's right. And that's exactly the, the biggest loser in this thing is going to be the Palestinians, going to be Palestine. The winner in this is Israel. This benefits no one except Israel. So, yes, these papers, and I have done a documentary about Al Jazeera and who is on in the top management of Al Jazeera. Uh -huh. You talk about British journalists. Oh, yeah. Who were with the BBC, yep. who, who are in the top management of Al Jazeera, and most of them are pro-Zionist journalists. 
Well, absolutely. That's why um, Medvedev's meeting, by the way, got virtually zero coverage in the Zionist press in, in Europe, in the UK, and here. Uh, they were, you just and didn't hear about it. And in the Zionist Al Jazeera, too. Al Jazeera has been co-opted. This whole thing smells of Mossad. The timing. The, is, people make the mistake of underestimating the, the stealth, long-term planning. And these people, the Israelis, are very smart. This is another thing designed to damage what's left of Palestinian hopes. Now, if they ever did have to give up some of the occupied territories upon which they have built these permanent settlements and residential neighborhoods, and they've built a, a huge number of them, they would tear them down rather than give them over to the Palestinians, would they not? They, they did that already. You know, in Gaza, they destroyed those buildings. That yes. They, settlers. There was like about 8,000 settlers in Gaza. Yes. Uh, in homes, they were built there, but they destroyed all of these settlements in Gaza so the Palestinians won't uh, go live in them. I mean, it's just, uh, it's inhuman. A typical, typical, typical stuff. Sickening. Sickening.